darkness falls from across the land. The midnight hour is close at hand, and Capcom has decided to develop a Street Fighter Halloween themed fighting game called Darkstalkers, the Night Warriors. Welcome my Meisters, to my brand new Let's Play for the channel. And I'm not going to do that voice forever. Hey everyone, Mystery Espino's X here. And welcome to my brand new Let's Play for the Meister Gaming Channel. Darkstalkers, the Night Warriors, or if you're from Japan, Vampire, the Night Warriors, yes. Uh, many of you guys are wondering what happened with Marvel's Capcom 2. Well, I've decided to put the Marvel's Capcom Marathon on hold because of the whole... I've been having issues trying to run the Dreamcast emulator and stuff, so my best bet is either for uh, Fightcade to actually correctly emulate the game, or if um, Capcom decides to re-release um, Mars Capcom 2 for the PlayStation or Xbox stores or you know for the for the Nintendo eShop for the Switch but yeah but anyway in this playthrough I'm going to be playing as the Succubus Morgan yes why Morgan because Morgan is the equivalent of just any character from Street Fighter that could throw a Hadouken um, I kid you not, yes. Um, she has a move called Soul Fist that literally is a projectile. It's there, right there. That's the Hadouken right there. She has another move right there, Shadow Blade. Sure you can. She doesn't really have a Tatsumaki type move, but I mean the closest thing that she does have to a Tornado Kick is that her wings could turn into drills and stuff and it's, um, yeah. That's a, I guess that's an equivalent of a tornado kick. But anyway, since the success of Street Fighter 2 back in the 90s, Capcom decided to develop other fighting games. Um, this game, of course, there's also um, Red Earth, Rival Schools, Plasma Sword, Cyberbots, Power Stone, and if you guys never heard of any of those games, I don't blame you. I have not heard of those games um, until later on. Um, all of these games were either back made uh, in the 90s or in the early 2000s and stuff. So yeah, um, this one, Darkstalkers, um, many of you guys know more again from the Marvel's Capcom series. Her debut was in the first Marvel's Capcom game and stuff. Um, that's how I was introduced to Morgan, was because of that game. And I've always wondered what game she came from. I wouldn't know until later on in life like i believe back in 2008 9 and stuff that's when uh, i guess you know i was able to get access to the internet and just search up google and stuff like that so yeah um that was back when you know you didn't need uh your freaking uh phone line to go to the internet so yeah but anyway um the competitive scene for this game well I don't know what to tell you guys, like, throughout my whole lifetime, I never came across a Darkstalkers arcade cabinet in any arcade place that I ever went to, so I can't really say anything, I, whenever I went to tournaments, I never heard of a, and there was like posters everywhere of like, upcoming like, tournaments and stuff, I never heard of a Darkstalkers tournament, I really never did, so, I mean, I'm pretty sure it was probably a popular thing some other places and stuff, but just not in my area or in other areas that I and other areas that I used to live at or other areas that I would go to I just never heard of a Darkstalkers back then until back in uh, I just remembered it was 2006 that I found out about this game so yeah so I can't really say much about it so yeah but some of the characters do uh, make an appearance in other Capcom games or like crossover games pretty much like Mars Capcom Project Cross Zone 1 and 2 and stuff so yeah mostly Morgan because I guess she's the poster uh, character for the game so yeah her and I believe Felicia um, and Dimitri I'm pretty sure so yeah um, uh, the first time I played this game was actually back in 2008 like once I heard about it back in 06, you know, I just really like never it was was really never interested in the game. So yeah, back in and then like in 08, I was all like, 
let me try out Darkstalkers just because, you know, lately I've been playing Morgan a lot or, and Mars Capcom 2 back when it was in the uh, Xbox 360 and PlayStation 3 um, until they took it off the stores. So, yeah. Uh, anyway, who is our next challenge? It is Dimitri Blade the Vampire. We are going to face against Dimitri. Yes. Um, but anyway, dude, Dimitri literally looks like freaking, uh, 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 freaking, he is too buff in that suit, dude. Like, that suit doesn't even fit him at all. So, it's very funny, but yeah. But anyway, um, again, it was very rare for me that I can't, that I, you know, for this, it was very rare for me for for this game but later on it would uh they would release it uh make a you know remastered version for the xbox 360 and um the playstation 3 which is you know re-releasing the all three of the games and stuff called dark stalkers resurrection and stuff but i really never bought it so i mean although i just was never really interested so yeah I mean, I Morgan is my favorite character in the Mars Capcom series, so I mean, I was just you know, when I heard about it, I was like, eh, I guess. But uh, I was very interested in Rival Schools. Um, I was Rival Schools seemed like a seems like a fun game. Um, I really need to come across playing that game. So yeah. But anyway, um, I'm gonna talk about the tier list um, next episode because well. Um, I don't have a lot of time because I'm actually almost defeating Dimitri here. If I could defeat him, if he stops burning me alive, then we could go ahead and, um, you know, be finished with this episode. And, oh my gosh, I'm almost defeating him. Nope, nope, nope. Stop blocking, stop blocking, stop blocking. There we go. Defeated Dimitri. Bleh. But anyway, that has been Mystery Spinoz X. Saying good night, good morning, good day, whatever time you guys are watching the video. I'll see you guys on the next one. Alright everyone, bye.